Tomorrow marks the 10th anniversary since British troops were first deployed there. We sent the latest forces sweetheart, Cheryl Cole, to Afghanistan to tell us more about their amazing heroics. Hi, Carol and everyone here at the Pride of Britain Awards. I'm here in Afghanistan at Camp Bastion. <laughs> As you can see, I'm surrounded by hundreds of heroes and a little bit later on, I'm going to be giving them an award to recognise their incredible bravery and courage. Over 100,000 British troops have been deployed to Afghanistan in the last decade. For many of them, Camp Bastion is their home. And it was a huge privilege for me to come and learn about the many jobs they do helping to make this country safe. My girlfriend went mad if I won't get this. Well, stay safe, as safe as you can. Out here, danger is ever-present. But as I discovered, it's the improvised explosive devices that remain the biggest threat. <laughs> Thankfully, the newly formed Military Working Dog Squadron are doing an unbelievable job, and these amazing dogs have already made over 50 major IED and weapon finds on this tour alone. What you got? Clever boy! I've learned so much from such a little experience and what they actually do. Pushing deep into enemy territory, the Brigade Reconnaissance Force is in constant demand. After learning to drive one of their off-road jackal vehicles, I discovered why the shifting desert sands are no match for this crack unit. Hold on, Tate! But there are places even the jackals can't reach, and in this harsh Afghan environment, mobility is key. I was lucky enough to spend time with the Joint Helicopter Force. From medical evacuations and troop movement to race supply and ground attack, they do it all. Unbelievably, they fly up to 150 missions a day, every day, seven days a week. It's incredible to see the dedication and commitment of these brave men and women. But when one rifles and 42 Commando Royal Marines took me on an exercise, they certainly put me through my pieces. It's loaded on me ready, all around the blank, so totally safe. You just can't even imagine, let alone express what it is that they go through with their kids. Hang on there, Cheryl, agree you? Mm -hmm. Suddenly, it all felt far too real. Stop the bleed, so that'll, that'll hold the bleed for a bit. We do put this on. Right. Oh my. I can't believe it. I'm shocked. That's been the biggest wake-up call of my life. It's been an absolute honour for me to come here personally and experience what the British Armed Forces actually do for our country. But an even bigger honour for me to be able to present our heroes with this award. Commander, this Pride of Britain Award is for you and all the work you guys do. Past, present, risking your lives every single day. I couldn't be happier to hand you this. Here we go, to Pride of Britain. Thank you, Britain. Immense privilege and honour to accept this award on behalf of the tens of thousands of brave British servicemen and women whose achievement and sacrifice out here in Afghanistan for the last 10 years has helped keep our country safe. I salute each and every one of them. I'd also like to take this opportunity to pass on our thanks to the British people for their rock-solid support, without which our hard, dangerous task would be very difficult. Thank you, Britain.
100,000 servicemen have served in Afghanistan over the last decade. 1,800 have been injured and 382 have paid the ultimate sacrifice. Our heroes past and present, I give you 10 years in Afghanistan. Ladies and gentlemen.